Well, last hour we introduced you to a Gamecock who is finally speaking out about overcoming domestic violence. Her work in the cause even earned her an award, but not even an athlete like herself could prepare for the recovery. You know, I had had my head slammed in the concrete like seven times, so that took a lot out of like my just like my brain capacity. Olivia Hassler knew she had a long recovery ahead of her. At some point, I have to go back to being, you know, a, a normal person. After her ex-boyfriend beat her so badly, she ended up with severe brain damage. Like, if you pull your hamstring, you're like, oh, I pulled my hamstring. Oh, I should have warmed up better. I should have done this. But when your brain doesn't work or when you're in the middle of a sentence and you can't remember what you're saying, it, it's kind of like it scares you. Olivia also had temporary memory loss. She felt confused and embarrassed. She even developed migraines, making it almost impossible to focus on her schoolwork. I just kind of started doing this like <laughs> extensive study habit where I just, you know, kind of do extra just so that somewhere, somewhere in there it'll, it'll pull it out. Olivia started to heal physically, but she knew she had to heal emotionally as well. Our team psychologist, uh, Dr. Cusack, she really helped me understand what I was going through. And I had a lot of uh, emotions that I wasn't understanding. She says she felt her emotions in extremes, easily feeling anger and rage one moment and sad and depressed the next. I just thought it was normal. Like, oh, this is normal. I'm just going to get through it and, you know, just a breakup. I'll just, just deal with it. And over time, Olivia's gotten control of her life again. I feel sorry for him because he's, he's way worse off than, I, than I'll ever be. Because I got over it and I got through it and I'm better. Unfortunately, Olivia's attacker and ex-boyfriend will not see justice. Olivia stayed silent while she was in the hospital out of fear. And the medical staff thought she had been mugged. She did eventually get a restraining order, but by then it was too late to really move forward with charges. And guys, this Ooh. is something that's really important with domestic mm -hmm. violence. So, and a lot of viewers at home are probably thinking, why didn't she say something right. sooner? I think what's important is we have to understand this happened to her. While a lot of us would think, oh, well, I would have said something right away. We can't understand you know what somebody feels. what she was thinking mm -hmm. while she was in in the hospital, mm -hmm. while you know right. while she was going through it, um, and what she's doing now is paying it forward so that it prevents you know domestic violence from happening, or if someone is in this situation that they can get out. Right. So or if they question whether they should come forward, she kind of can say, hey, I didn't, and this is right. what, what happened. happened. Absolutely. So th th she did say to me, that's my one regret mm -hmm. that I didn't come forward sooner. But, I mean, look what she's doing now. Yeah. So, And what an inspiration. I mean, like, like she said in the other stories, is you look at her uh, as an athlete and you think, okay, you know, they're kind of at a different level. But this really brings it down to, a, you know, a level that most people would never imagine experiencing. Right. I think a lot of people think, have this certain image of this is what victims mm -hmm. look like. That's why Freddie and I were talking yeah. about survivors. Right. She is courageous. She is a survivor. Absolutely. It kind of changes the, the face of what people think domestic violence looks like. Great story. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Courtney.